Oh my days. Oh my days. Hello, Hoovians. Um, get myself together. Compose myself. Thank you, George Sheen, who told me about this on a live stream. Today, we're announcing the new Doctor. The BAFTA award-winning actor. And, um, it is Nigu Niguti Gatwa. Probably mispronounced that horrifically. But here's what the Apple device says. Beauty Gatwa. There you go. Now you've had some confirmation. Now, this is the article read, produced by the BBC. Uh, the BBC today have announced that Beauty Gatwa is the new Doctor set to take charge of the TARDIS. Star of Stage and Screen, the Beauty is best known for his critical acclaimed performance in Sex Education as the iconic Je Eric Jeffing Je Jeff E double F I O N G for which he's awarded Best Actor Be he's awarded Best Actor Award as Scottish BAFTAs in 2020, as well as numerous nominations including Best Male Performance in a Comedy Programme at this year's BAFTAs. They're on tonight at 6pm on BBC One. Um, speaking of his new role, the Gucci said, There isn't quite the words to describe how I'm feeling. A mix of deeply honoured, beyond excitement and of course a little bit scared. This role and show means so much, so much, sorry, means so much to so many around the world, including myself, and which one of my incredibly talented, uh, uh, has hand handling that unique responsibility and privilege with the utmost care. I will endeavour my utmost to do the same. Russell T Davis is the most Almost as iconic as the Doctor himself, and being able to work with him is a dream come true. His writing is dynamic, exciting, and incredibly intelligent, and frizzing with danger. An actor, metaphoric playground, the entire team has been so welcoming and Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Well, my Echo device is only what run about, but... You all do, and so do I. Back to it. And truly given a daunting... I'm aware I'm joining a surely sporting family. Unlike the Doctor, I'm un I am may only have one heart, but I'm giving you it all to this show. Now, what are my thoughts before we continue reading? I'm so excited! I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it. I I'm, like, so excited for... Uh, the announcement of a new Doctor, and now Jodie Whittaker, to me, was unknown as in I didn't realise she was a woman in Broadchurch, but the Gucci Gatwa is, um, is definitely, I'm trying to think if I've seen, seen him in anything else, but no, I haven't seen him in a, anything, um, so he's completely new to me, so I'm sort of intrigued to see how he's got I've seen him in interviews, so I so I know his personality in an interview, but I'm 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 intrigued to see how um how he how it comes across. Uh, and with the thumbnail I'm gonna have the image that they give with a wait word blurred, like just covered with a question mark and uh, with the words who the next doctor and then my smiley face. So let's uh, get prepared for that now. <gasps> There you go. <laughs> I'll remember that. Right, so Russell T. Davis, showrunner, who is taking over from Chris Chimnall in next year. Um, the future is here, and it's the Naguti. Sometimes talent walks through the door, and it's so bright and bold and brilliant. I just stand back in awe, and we thank my lucky stars. Naguti dazzled us, size, hold of the Doctor, and own the TARDIS keys in seconds. It's an honor to work with him, and a hoot. That's a very good word. Um, hoot, hoot. I, I will um, do a uh, Derek McGee from Hacker Time reference there. Nothing doing Doctor Who, but I thought I would add in some humour. It's an honour to work with him and a hoot. 
I can't wait to get started. I'm sure you're dying to know more, but we're ra uh, radiating ourselves for now with the wonderful Jody's epic final yet to come. But I promise you, 2023 will be spectacular. Chris Moore, uh, uh, Charlotte Moore, Chief Content Officer said, Naguti has an incredible dynam dynamic ha has a striking and fearless young actor whose talent and energy will set the world alight and take Doctor Who on extraordinary adventures under Russell T Davis' new era. Further details will be announced in due course. Right, few things. Will we get a... Uh, how am I going to put this? Will we get an announcement trailer? Will we get what the Doctor's outfit is going to look like? Or are we going to get anything more? Is there going to be something said on tonight's BAFTA? Because, as we found out, he is nominated for tonight's BAFTA. If he wins, if he wins, we'll have award-winning Doctor Who actors in Doctor Who. And I don't know how wide this video will go because I'm going to share it on every Doctor Who group I'm in on Facebook um, and I'm going to share it online so I'm intrigued, I'm excited <gasps> I'm in awe, am I the first Doctor Who YouTuber to cover this news? No, George Sheard is well I'm in the second, only time will tell am I excited for the new Doctor? yes do I think it's a good choice? not seeing him in anything but by the sounds of people that I know that have seen the programmes he has been in um, it's supposed to be really good the, he is supposed to be in a film called Barbie based on the dolls uh, Barbie dolls uh, I have heard that but if I, I think right here's how it works we get an unknown actor that's been in something rather popular but not popular enough to know the name of the actor automatically put him in Doctor Who and then they become more famous Karen Gillan who was in Doctor Who is now in uh, Marvel films Matt Smith in a uh, Marvel film and Game of Thrones prequel, Jodie Whittaker, um, she might be in Attack of the Box too, but her career uh, isn't over in Doctor Who, so they probably won't announce any major things just yet with her in it. Catherine Tate, Netflix original, um, well, Doctor Who actor is going to big things, so he'll be in this for three or four years, and then he'll go on and be even bigger than Doctor Who. Like, as in, like, multi award winning, Oscar winning Doctor Who, um, American films. So, it's a stepping stone. It's one way to get to Hollywood. If you want to become mega famous, get yourself in Doctor Who. Greg Davis was in Doctor Who as well as. I think he did Taskmaster before Doctor Who. Matt Lucas. Oh, you have more films for Doctor Who. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm off to go and edit this. So I can uh, get the news out. But thank you guys for watching. Time on time out. Bye. I've got two more videos coming out on this channel today. Get excited.